All right. Uh, hello, everyone. I am really excited to talk today about automate Notion for productivity because internally we use Notion a lot, and I have been discussing this with Max, and we wanted you know to automate a lot of our uh, Notion workflows. So let's let's first you know talk about what Notion is because I feel you know if I if before jumping into that, it's uh, better to understand you know what the tool is and understand how it can be used. So Notion, uh, they, they specify it's an all-in work, one workspace. So with Notion, you know, you can have your own database. You can use it as a database where you can store all the information. So you can replace, you know, the Postgres nodes that Ben showed and you can add the Notion uh, node over there. And you now have all your Pokemons in your Notion database. You can even use Notion as, your, uh, as a CRM. So, you know, this can be a personal CRM or a company CRM that you want to, uh, that you want to use for. And the other thing is uh, you can use it for your to-do list. So uh, I, I kind of started with this. I kind of started no using Notion as a to-do list because it allows you to uh, use it, uh, gives you a different views. It can be a Kanban view. It can be a gallery view. It can be a list view. It can be a table view. So it's, it's pretty uh, amazing to you know, use it in different ways. And talking about you know, how companies use it. So one of the common use case the, the, uh, the companies have is, you know, use it as their wiki. So all the information about the company that they want to share internally with, uh, with, the, with the team, they, they use Notion for that. So those were, you know, a couple of use cases that uh, you can do with Notion. So enough of talking about Notion, let's, let's see a couple of workflows uh, in action. So I have three workflows to uh, show you, let me just quickly pull this down. All right. So the first workflow is, it, it's a very small workflow. It, what it does is it gets all the newsletters that I receive on my email and adds it to Notion because I have this, I don't know, this habit of, you know, uh, I don't, the notifications, they kind of annoy me every time, you know, you get a new email. So now what this workflow does it, it just, you know, automatically adds all those incoming newsletters to Notion. So I kind of executed it before, uh, so that, you know, just to make sure that everything is working fine. So let me go to Notion. So I am using a simple list view over here. We have a couple of properties going in there. Let me execute it once again, and then you can see uh, how it looks in Notion. So for the IMAP node over here, uh, I am filtering out based on the uh, sender. So right now I'm just using, uh, looking out for only two of the uh, two of the people I subscribe to. It's info at CFP land. So if you are in, you know, into talking about con uh, giving talks at conferences, this is you know something that you should subscribe to. And then there is another a newsletter by Sam Julian, which which is really great if you are you know just starting your journey or if you want to you know get more uh, into content creation or developer in general. So now that I have some data coming in, you can see we have four items over here. I using the set node, I just, you know, specify all the information that I need. So I get, you know, on which date this particular email was sent to me, who was this sent from and the subject. And then in the notion node, I am just, you know, adding all these values over here. So I'm adding the name, basically the title, the author, and then the date. So if I come to Notion over here, you can see now we have all this information. I, I wanted to do, I, I wanted to bring all the content in Notion as well, but uh, Notion does not allow you to, you know, uh, bring everything in there, it does not render HTML correctly. So that was a bit annoying part over there. And I'm still, you know, trying to figure out if I can, you know, get uh, it working in Notion somehow. So that would be something really interesting. So I don't have to go back to my email and just you know uh, read it over there. It can be simply done on Notion. The another thing that I want to do in this particular workflow is have a check mark. So when I'm done reading with that, you know, I can just you know do a check mark and I know like, okay, I'm done with reading this and then it can be you know automatically archived or you know something like that. Now talking about the next workflow. Now this is something that I have build for our internal use case. So we often talk to our community members, our users, and you know, try to understand how they use Aniton. And we take notes for that, obviously. Uh, but then you know, when we take notes, we, uh, and when we're done with the call, we have to you know, manually go to the team and say, hey, I've added, I've talked to this person, you can check out the note over here, which was a bit annoying for me because like, hey, this is, the, if, the, if it's, if, if, uh, sorry, 
if it can be you know automated why not do it right so now over here i use the notion trigger node which triggers the workflow every time a new entry is added so for now it's uh, it's configured to you know run every day at 9 pm sorry 9 am so whenever you know, like every day at 9 am it checks for uh, all the entries that are stored in this particular notion uh, page let's see it's called user call yeah so user call and over here or maybe it's user research yeah so it's user research so over here now there are two different kind of research that i do it can be you know someone who i interview with or someone who i am onboarding on any time so now uh, this node fetches that information it runs the switch node to check you know what kind of uh, what kind of call it was was it an onboarding call was it an interview and based on that it routes to the particular uh, page sorry the particular uh, channel so over here i'm i'm using discord just for the demo purposes but i would then uh, replace it with the metamos node to send it to the specific metamos channel so again because now this is in testing it is going to just give me one input over over here from notion so it is going to go to the first route because the incoming value is interview and then it sends me a message on discord so if i open the discord the interview channel you can see over here it sends the uh, information and it also you know just gives me the link so i can just click on the link open it and view all the notes the another cool thing that i kind of built with integrating notion discord and n10 was a slash command with which you can simply add new uh, interesting articles that you come across so you just do slash uh, link so this come up, so this workflow will get executed and it will extract the title from that and it will add that uh, link to the notion workspace currently i have disabled it because i'm uh, improving it and working on it make it more uh, user friendly not user friendly but you know add more features to that so i i don't have a demo for that but i have a youtube video which you can follow and you know just uh, play around with it and try it on for yourself so that's it for you know this particular uh, lightning talk coming back to my slides so what's next so i am now planning to have build a habit tracker which would you know when i tap on the nfc chip it automatic automatically adds to the notion like hey hershel you completed this particular task and i also want to automate some journaling so every time i work i keep i make a uh, notes now i want to you know have a centralized platform where all my notes go into the place and when at night you know i'm journaling i know okay these were the things that i did so that i don't have to go back again you know to maybe obsidian or another tool where i'm taking the notes it's already there in my notion and then i can you know add more thoughts to it and another interesting use case that i want to try out is you know uh, schedule social media posts so again with notion a lot of people use it uh, for managing their content so this is another use case that you know i i am very interested to try it out and we have recently published a blog post which you know talks about different use cases uh, and it also has uh, the links to the workflow so you can always you know go to nitn.io/blog and read the blog post or you know just try out the workflows uh, as it is